Ah, you know, Sonny, few places are as cozy as the hop dog at dawn. You have a point. The silence, the fog, the sunshine slowly devouring the sleeping city. The smell. Yeah, the cobbler district has its own distinctive aroma, that's for sure. But wait, do you smell that? Ah, it seems Zip is ready with the first batch of coffee. That's waiting only for us, my friend. Well, he's out. He's brave indeed, or an idiot. They're often the same, Marty, and you should know. <laughs> Hello, Zip. I see they kicked you out. You know, Sonny, they told me I could stay in there for 48 hours if I wanted. Well, maybe you should have done that. Shit, I had enough. Fuck it, you understand? When you interrogated me, you opened my eyes. I don't give a shit about him, about Wesler and his henchmen. Let them come if they want. It's not going to be easy for them. You can be sure of that. That's the zip we know and love. Thanks, Marty. So, uh, why are you here? One last coffee before the end. Are you going to get him? We don't have a choice, Zip. We're grabbing the rat by the tail. No screwing around. No playing at nice. Ah, I see Ibn's really got to you. Just Sonny. I'm like this all the time. Yeah, that's true. feelings what can i say boys i have a big soft heart you sure do ursula would you like a nice hot cup of tea no thanks we just came to say goodbye why you going somewhere traveling i uh, know we're just uh, visiting a uh, a nice place in the city sonny's gonna die shut up marty so it's a case well be careful, boys. And I'm sorry I snapped at you the last time. You don't need to say that, Ursula. We deserved it. You're a good boy, Sonny. And Marty's a downright saint. Oh, come on, Ursula. Stop that. Hey, Bubo. Hello, old man. Is he asleep? But his eyes are open. <sighs> Bobo! Uh, uh, hey, what is it? Uh, I wasn't sleeping. You were something. What the hell are you doing here, chickens? Sonny wanted to say hi before he suffers an unpleasant death of lead poisoning later tonight. Would you shut the clock up, Marty? You're not funny. I am a little bit. You're going to Wessler's, huh? Bingo. We're gonna put an end to this madness. Ooh. Or you're stirring up an even bigger madness, am I right? Well, that's always a possibility. Get yourself killed for all I care, but don't come here covered in blood. Because I'm not gonna open the door for you, I swear. Oh, thanks for the support, old fart. Don't mention it, you old gizzard. How is the old owl? He's old and grumpy, but he's always like that. Wait a minute, isn't he supposed to sleep now? He is. I mean, Reginald's never truly asleep. Not entirely, he just shuts down. Even now? Yes. I gotta see that. Take care of yourselves, boys. Will do, Auntie Ursula. Hey, don't be saucy, young man.
sun was shining and all the ducks were in a row, I felt ready. The pieces of the grand puzzle were laid out on the table. I just needed to piece them all together. A revealing glance or a careless word, and I'd have the answer. I knew we were in the right place. I knew it was nearly over. Was Natasha really just a victim? Or did she know everything? Was she controlling the puppets from behind the curtain? Well, if you don't know where to go, go straight ahead. What could possibly go wrong? Here I am, Natasha. I hope you're waiting for me. Furry gods. I knew he was rich, but wow. Half the city is in his hands, Marty, and half the Council of Twelve. I think we'll catch a big fish today. Don't count your chickens. I'm sure Wessler's expecting us, and Natasha too, I hope. You hope? If I'm right, she could be our only chance of survival. Lovely prospects, huh? I've had worse. Really? Hey, not so fast, chickens. Please excuse my partner. We didn't mean to be rude, it's just his uh, terrible habits, as you may already know. Ah, look what the cat dragged in. Funny, I don't recognize them. Well, maybe if they had some guns with them? Tommy guns? Oh yeah, now I remember. The two suckers in the luxury van you shot to pieces. Twice. Exactly. <sighs> what are you doing here, chickens? Would you like us to finish what we started? We'd love to have fun with you boys, but we need to talk to your boss. And while we're at it, the lady of the house is also expecting us. Is that so? Yeah, that's so horny. In that case, I guess there's no reason for us to waste your precious time. Is that right, Gabriel? Oh, get the hell out of our sight while there are still feathers on your skin, chickens. Easy, pal. We're not even here anymore. Until next time, boys. This must lead to Wessler and Natasha's suite. Well, let's get the big guns out and kick the door down. No need for that, Marty. We'll wait until they invite us in, like real gentlemen. Then maybe we'll need the guns. But I hope it won't come to that. Oh, my trigger finger's itching, Sonny. Someone's gotta pay. Relax, Marty. Someone is gonna pay. Tonight. Yeah, just don't let it be us. Ah, what a pleasant surprise. Hello, Olivia. Sweetie. Get lost. Uh, what did you say, ma'am? Turn around and get the hell out of here now, if you want to make it out with feathers intact. <laughs> Come on, Olivia. Don't worry about us. We know what we're doing. Martin! Huh? Don't you get it? You have to get out of here or you'll be in danger, and also her. Do you mean Natasha? Please calm down, miss. We have to talk to Mr. Wessler and Miss Katsenko. You really don't understand, do you? What do they not understand, Olivia? So, what is it exactly that our guests don't understand? I was trying to tell the detectives that Mr. Wessler's very tired and doesn't welcome guests this early. He gets rather irate if he's being disturbed at this hour. I'm sure Mr. Featherland and Mr. McChicken can wait here while Ibn refreshes himself. I'll entertain them until then. Thank you, Miss, uh, Kitsenko. Please, Sonny. I thought we've already discussed this. Call me Natasha. Uh... <clears throat> Please, Natasha, can we talk to you in private? Martin? It's all right, Olivia. 
These gentlemen are my friends. Yes, Miss Katsenko. I tried to warn you. Thanks, Olivia. <sighs> I tried to warn The truth is, Ibn isn't really in a good shape today, gentlemen. He's rather furious. Are you sure this can't wait? You commissioned us, Natasha, and we barely escaped with our combs intact. So you know who left the threats? Oh, we know much more than that, Natasha. We even know where you used to work. We talked to Madame Zavas. Wild gods! Why didn't you tell us? Do you think it's easy for a woman to talk about such things that she used to be an escort? Along with Molly? So you know. Yeah, I know, Natasha. I also know all of this was a trap. Believe me, I tried to handle things the least painfully I could. You weren't even supposed to know. A lot shouldn't have happened. Poor Deborah shouldn't have had to die. Dear sweet Deborah. Cold, stiff Deborah. Please don't say that. A price worth paying? You cannot think I had anything to do with that. You just cannot. I don't know, Natasha. Please, Sonny, tell me what is going on. You have to know, right? Please. Excuse me for making you wait, detectives. I'm having a rough morning after a long night. Is that so? Our night was also kind of long, to put it mildly. I was just telling the gentlemen that you were exhausted, my dear, and they should come back another time. I'll escort them out. Oh, honey, no need for that. My door's always open to the legendary chicken police. Please, uh, come on in, guys. Let's uh, talk in my room. Then this way, please. You just stay here, my darling. I'm sure our conversation will bore you to death. Please, uh, Go and refresh yourself, or uh, tell Olivia to go make some coffee. Yes, dear. Whatever you like. Please, uh, follow me, gents. Lead on, Wessler. So long, sweetheart. Goodbye. You know, I had a dream before we came here. I saw Natasha with a bloody mouth and red claws. And? What does that tell you? I don't know, Marty. I admit it. I haven't been this on edge for a long time. Uh, I'm just angry. Truth is, I'm not entirely sure why. Your sense of justice kicking in? More like my sense of don't fuck with the chicken police. painting. It's beautiful and rather provocative. Almost makes my comb stand up. I'm not surprised. But the corner is missing. You're right, Sonny. You're quite the observer. Well, yeah, this painting's unfortunately damaged. I don't know where the missing piece could be. You don't know? Well, if you're interested, we know exactly where it is. Really? Really. It's here with us. An insignificant little piece, isn't it? But there's an exciting cat scratch on it. More like a rat scratch, because it's a monogram. A.W. That's... Albert Wessler. He's a great painter. I don't know if you've heard of him. Enough! Out with it already. What are you trying to say? I have no time for your childish charades. Easy, Wessler. We'll get to that in a bit. Interesting. Now that I know who he really is, he doesn't even resemble Ibn Wessler.
what do you want to know? I've heard you've been through a rather eventful few days. Oh, you have rather good informants. Yeah, that's true. I should tell you, I see and hear everything that happens in the city. And you, uh, you are exceptionally resilient. No offense. None taken. But tell me, are we gonna flatter each other for a long time, or are we finally done with the courting? Straight to the point. I like it. Yeah, so let's continue like that, shall we? What do you want? How dare you intrude upon me in my own house? Oh, forgive us. Our moral compass has been confused a little bit after someone tried to kill us several times in the last 48 hours. With fire, with machine guns, I could go on. And while we're at it, you could answer some of our questions. If you've nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. And then we'll just leave you alone. All right. I'll go along with your childish little game. I would have had a long and tedious day ahead of me anyway. So, can we start? With pleasure, Mr. Wessler. I have no idea what she sees in you, but Natasha's been seriously worried about you. Yeah, she, uh, really worries more than usual. But it's understandable. Those disgusting messages. Disgusting, all right. Do you know why that word exactly? Why did they write that specific word everywhere? Since, uh, since uh, you've been to the Nile, I guess you know the answer to your question. Didn't it bother you, Wessler, what Natasha used to do? Surely it must have upset you. Why? Did it upset you when you discovered your wife did the same thing? What did you just say? What did you think, chicken? That I didn't know? Yeah, don't make me laugh. I know about everyone who ever set foot in that place. I can even tell you who Molly's regulars were, if you're interested. You son of a bitch. Sonny, don't. Yes, detective? Not yet. You're right, Marty. It's not worth it. You're funny, you know that? About the painting. Yeah. My brother Albert made it. He's a great talent, but, uh, still, uh, he's a rather troubled individual. Such self-criticism. What did you say? My partner means that you and your brother are very much alike. Identical twins, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed. But, uh, what does that have to do with the painting? We'll get to that. Don't worry, Mr. Wessler. So Albert made the painting at your request, is that right? And the one that's in Natasha's room in the Tsar, too. Yeah, exactly. Is that a crime? No, it's not a crime in itself. This picture, it's rather strange, you know? Why do you think so? It's just me, Natasha, and my brother. The photo doesn't tell much in itself, yes. But if you already have the right information, suddenly it starts to talk. Really? He fell in love with her, didn't he? Who'd you mean? Albert, of course. He fell in love with Natasha. All those sessions while he was painting the pictures. Were you there every time? You mean, uh, me? You. No, I mean, while Albert was painting, yeah, but I wasn't there all the time. Albert was there all along. And you think he could have fallen in love with Natasha? That's why he escaped? What do you think happened to him? Who tore out his tongue? Eh, I have no idea. Did Natasha know about what happened to your brother? No, of course not. Do you love beautiful things, Wesler? I, eh, why do you ask that? Yeah, of course. You were afraid of losing her, weren't you? To him. Stop. Enough. If you want to ask something, ask clearly. Don't play with me. You understand? We're just doing our job. Then do it clearly. And quickly. Yeah, I'm really starting to lose my patience. We visited Albert's cell and found something he seems to have uh, forgotten to take with him in his great hurry. 
That's a big mistake. A classic, even. What the hell are you babbling about? This is Albert Wessler's love letter to Natasha. More like a confession. In which he tells her he's capable of doing anything for her. Even the most horrible things. Yeah, this letter doesn't prove anything at all. Albert is mad. Insane. He's not a... normal. No one would believe his word, don't you understand? But they believe yours, right? Because you're not Albert Wessler. You're Hobart Ibn Wessler, aren't you? How good it feels to be in his skin. How dare you? Just tell him, Sonny. I'm getting tired of this. You're just a cheap fake, Albert. You couldn't follow in your brother's footsteps even if you wanted to. No matter how hard you tried, you couldn't get Natasha either. Albert is an imposter. He's not who he says he is, and might not even know who he really is. I have to concentrate on this first, to soften him up, and to avoid us being shot in the gizzard, of course. What were you thinking, Albert? How long did you think you could keep it up? Until the end of my life, it needs. Yeah, I cared about nothing except for her to love me. Not for who Ibn was, but for who I am. Why did you think that would happen? Everybody noticed the change. Yeah, I knew it would be hard, Santino. But I also knew animals see what they want to see. Eh, I didn't have to behave like Ibn. They only had to believe I'm him. Why did you decide to take your brother's place? Yeah, as you're curious. From the moment I laid eyes on Natasha for the first time, but I had to convince myself that this was the only way. You've never talked about your feelings for Natasha with your brother, am I right? Are you insane? Yeah, Abel would have had me killed immediately, and no one would ever know. So instead, you've done the same thing, haven't you? What a comfortable excuse. Comfortable? Do you think all of this was just some kind of cruel game for me? I had to destroy the person I loved and respected the most. Cry me a river. Yeah, you know, there's only a thin, fragile membrane between love and hate. If anything touches it, it tears immediately. You've felt like this before, haven't you? Yeah, I can see it in your eyes. You can analyze me until the sun goes down, Wessler. But you won't get far with that. Yeah, evasive answer. So I'm right. Did you ever believe that you were Ibn Wessler? Did I ever believe? I still do. I believed it all along. Don't you get it? I am Ibn Wessler. And also, Albert Wessler. I see you're starting to understand. So you feel you're two people at the same time, even now. Does it sound crazy? Maybe it is, but Ibn lives inside me. Sometimes he's even stronger than Albert ever was. Do you think you can avoid the gas chamber with this, Albert? Eh, I don't have to avoid anything, Sonny. You and your friend, uh, will never leave this place. It's better if you start getting used to the thought. You're not the cold-blooded killer you'd like to think you are. Eh, do you think so? Try me, detective. What made you think you could deceive Natasha? Because Natasha loved Ibn, in her own unique way. Yeah, and if there's anything that can blind an animal, it's love and hate. Everything revolves around these two things, Mr. Featherland. Is everything black and white to you? No. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Everything is gray in this world. Only two things have color. Love and hate. I see you understand now, Sonny. Yeah, we're not that different, you and I. Albert, you're everything I'm not. 
And I'm everything you're not, believe me. Yeah, if that makes it easier for you, detective. That was your plan. Take his place and live happily ever after. Why, isn't it good enough of a plan, Mr. Featherland? It was perfect, even in its imperfection. Which is? Ibn's ghost. His... his what? Uh, please don't take it literally, Mr. Chicken. I'm not talking about the uh, spirits. When Ibn died, I didn't just take his place, but also his role. He himself, uh, his essence, if you will. Yeah, though I guess that's uh, too much for you to understand. So you mean Ibn's here with us even now? He was here all along. Don't you get it? I am Hobart Ibn Wessler. I must get serious, because looking at the gun in Wessler's trembling hand, I'm afraid I don't have much time. Albert is a cruel psychopath, but maybe I can turn that cruelty against him. When was the moment you decided to kill him, Albert? When I drew the last stroke on that fatal painting, Mr. Fenderland. When I glanced at it for the last time, and then at Natasha, who was shivering under the weight of my gaze. You simply fell in love with her? End of story? Not in the slightest, Mr. Fenderland. Love is, uh, just chemistry. What I felt was more than that. Everybody thinks that, Albert. But we all feel the same. We're just fools. No, Mr. Featherland, not at all. At that moment, I knew what I was gonna do. I knew that the world was coming to an end if I didn't do it. It implodes on itself and ceases to exist. I couldn't let that happen. I couldn't. Let him have her, right? You simply wanted her for yourself. I wanted her for ourselves, Sonny. I was him by then. He just didn't know it yet. Do you think you can explain everything with your insanity? Don't be a fool, Sonny. Insanity is just a temporary state. Just a stop on the way to enlightenment. So you admit you're insane. That's surprising for your kind. Of course I'm not insane. Ah, well, here we are. Albert was insane. He lost all connections to reality. But I saved him. You mean... You're Ibn? Both of us, Mr. Featherland. Okay. I almost understand everything now. Don't mock me, Mr. Featherland. You're still at the wrong end of a gun, you remember. It would be hard to forget. When did you decide that we too have to die? Can I be honest? I didn't want to hurt you, even after what you've done at the club, after interrogating Natasha and me so cruelly. I didn't care. You just saw what's on the outside, just scratching the surface. Until we found Deborah. I didn't even know about you finding her until the phone call from the Nile. Then it all became clear. I understood I underestimated you. I had to remedy that mistake before it was too late. You remove anyone if they happen to cross your path, don't you? Without batting an eye. Ibn had always been like that. Albert the opposite. So don't think I wasn't struggling, but uh, eventually, yeah. Courage won every time. You mean fear? Yeah. What do you know about these concepts, detective? You've spent your life chasing petty nobodies until you turned into one of them. I may be a nobody, Mr. Wessler, but at least I know who and what I am. I'm Santino Featherland. Tell me, can you still tell who you really are? Albert, Ibn, both of them, neither. Enough, Santino. Enough games. Ask your last question before I get tired of you and pull the trigger. I'm very close to breaking him. But if I'm too hard on him, I could quickly be signing my death warrant. It's time to dig a little bit deeper and uncover Wessler's wounds. It was kind to you, right? Too kind. Natasha was a... simply amazing, gentle, kind, lively, but still so, uh, distant. You're telling me 
like he was from another world. A world where everything's full of charm and grace and everything's fragile and delicate. Uh, do you understand? I think I do, yes. I know Albert's touch would harm her. Albert is rough. Albert can't keep such a delicate thing in his arms. That's why you had to become Ibn, am I right? I didn't take Ibn's place, Mr. Featherland. I became one with him, can't you see? It's the only way I could comprehend and accept the miracle that was Natasha. Was? I... I think I've corrupted her. She's not that gentle and pure creature I painted on the canvas anymore. I ruined her. She became rotten under my hands. Maybe it's not too late, Albert. Tell her the truth and end this. No. You can't understand this. She can't either. I killed Ibn, but he also killed me. Can't you see? We're nothing without each other. You can't be two people at the same time, Albert. Nobody can bear the weight of the sins of two souls. Ibn loved her. I admired her. Ibn was crazy about her. I've been crazy for a long time. Ibn idolized her, and I hated her. And if there's anything more blind, more devoted, more extreme, and more true than love, it could only be hate, Mr. Featherland. It's an endlessly exciting, thrilling, and warm feeling. And infinitely red. Just like love. You know you're not going to be able to go through with it, right? That you won't be able to carry the weight. But you still did it. Why? Yeah. If I didn't kill him and become one with him, Albert would have died, Mr. Featherland. And the threats? Which one of you was that? Albert or Ibn? Who wrote them? And which one of you killed Deborah? In my world, Ibn and I are inseparable. Just like love and hate are one and the same. And I hate Natasha so much that I could destroy myself along with her just so she would die with me. Are you familiar with this feeling, Mr. Featherland? More than life itself. You see? We're not so different after all. You and I have nothing in common, Wesler. You know why? Why, Mr. Featherland? Because if I were in your shoes, I would have pulled the trigger a long time ago. Goodbye, Sonny. So long, Albert. So, you heard everything. I heard everything. I'm sorry you had to find out like this. And thank you. If it weren't for you... Yes, both of you would be dead, I know. But believe me, I still thought carefully before firing. About who to target? You know, I truly loved Ibn. But this man wasn't him. You felt it, didn't you? Maybe I even knew it. I don't know. But I still can't believe it. It won't be easy to process for any of us. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. And regarding Molly... The cops! But how? How do they know? I have no idea, Marty. Do not look at me. I did not call them. Olivia? Don't worry, Natasha. They won't lay a finger on you. I promise. Please, Sonny. You don't need to worry about me. I don't want to be rude, Sonny, but I'm more worried about us than her. Hello, boss. Hello, boys. Now, before you say anything, we can explain. No need for that, Santino. Monica already told me everything. Monica? Hey, boys. What were you thinking? That I would just let you get killed without saying goodbye? Thanks, Mon. 
Should we say we uh, owe you one? You know already, boys. Shoes are my weakness. Hey, mine too. Of all that's furry, we don't want to hear that. And boys... Uh, yes, boss? I don't believe you'll get away with it so easily. I want a report on my desk from both of you with all the details. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. It'll all make sense, believe us. Right after I figure out myself what the hell just happened. What Marty's trying to tell you is that we had good reason to investigate outside the law. But we're sorry. What happened to you, Sonny? You're sorry? Did you hit your head? Why does everybody keep asking that? Why indeed. So can we go now, boss? W without getting handcuffed? Don't give me ideas, Santino. <laughs> Thanks, boss. What? Are you waiting for me to change my mind? Uh, no, sir. Then stop pecking around here. Yes, sir. Thanks again, Mon. If not for you, those fur heads would have put holes in us. No wonder, since you put holes in there, boss. Well, actually, that wasn't us. Then who was it? Natasha. Really? Hmm. I wouldn't have thought it of her. It's a pleasant surprise. It was for us, too, believe me. Santino, you're doing that on purpose? No, sir. Never, sir. Then get the fuck out of here. So, what now? Where to next? I think I should mourn, right? You should. But I don't know what to feel anymore, Sonny. I understand, Natasha. You know, if you need anything... Yes, I know where to find you. See you around, sweetheart. Ma'am? Goodbye, detectives. What about him? How the hell did he wind up here? I don't know, but it's suspicious. You think someone hired him? Could be. You, what are you doing here? I was just driving around, you know. Trying to feed your grandpa? So, was it a case? Were you uh, maybe investigating us? What can I say, Sonny? Am I busted? Did someone hire you to follow us? I just had to keep an eye on you and not get involved. That's all. I admit there were a couple of crazy situations when it was hard not to. But you managed somehow, right? A professional's a professional, my friend. Yeah, thanks. So you won't tell us who hired you, whatever we do? Unfortunately, I can't, my friend. I made a promise. You and your promises. Some people still take them seriously. You're a real piece of guano, you know that? Of course. I've learned everything from you, you old fart. I think I have an idea who hired you, Phil. Hey, stop it right there. I don't want to know who you think. Oh, are you afraid your reaction would give you away? Huh, <laughs> you wish, pal. Anyway, it's good to see you here, Hawkeye. I'm glad you made it out alive. It didn't take you much. Yeah, not much. How the hell did you find your way here, Tim? Always where the trouble is. Sometimes I think you're the criminal mastermind behind all the dark dealings in this city. <laughs> I wish. I wish too, because then we could legally throw you in jail. <laughs> I love your sense of humor, Sonny. <laughs> I wasn't joking. So? Where did you get the scoop? Are you kidding me? The whole city's talking about you. 
You've left quite the mess behind. That, I admit. Well, it's a miracle that all of the city smear sheet journalists aren't here already. Oh, while we're at it, will you give me an exclusive interview? Clock off, Tim. Hey! Just one quote, guys. They say you've taken down the whole Wessler Empire. They say... I say you're full of shit, Tim, and you can quote me on that. Just one quote, guys. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. <sighs> We're honestly very sorry it had to end like this. Yeah, this peacefully. For myself, I'm glad, gentlemen. I would have sincerely regretted it if we had to shoot both of you, but unfortunately, that seemed to be the only solution to this, uh, rather nasty situation. Fortunately, it didn't turn out that way. Joyful. Don't think we'll be behind bars for long chickens. Wessler may be dead, but his empire still won't crumble. Oh, look at that, he can talk. In complex sentences, too. Yeah, or something like that. Amazing. You're a good boy, Bosco. Nice work. You know, folks, somebody's got to take care of the real police work while you're tearing up the city. Sorry for the mess, Bosco, but you know us. Yeah, unfortunately, I do. How did you catch them? After the gunshot, I was sure these two would show up. They have a habit of doing that. They were already in cuffs before then, Sonny. We had the house surrounded. If you could have hung on, maybe nobody would have died. Hey, a second longer and it would have been us. <laughs> That's your story. Cluck you sideways, Bosco. Hey, Olivia. Marty? I just, uh, wanted to thank you. For what exactly? For trying to save us. I didn't do it only for you, believe me. I loved my job while I had it. Now my employee is dead, so I don't have a job anymore. I didn't even think of that. Of course you didn't. Can I do anything to help? I think I'll manage. I always do. So, here they are, ladies and gentlemen. The chicken police, in the flesh. Damn it, Tim, drop it and cluck off. Oh, no, boys. This time, you deserve it. What the cluck did you say, boss? Stand up straight and try to look like someone who's glad to be alive. Uh, yes, sir, we'll try. Ooh, attention chicken police. Say cheese. Turning back I'm tired 
of a being say Long we're still lying in my bed All the colors are dead inside The whole world goes to black and white You were expecting me, weren't you? I wouldn't say that, but I'm not surprised. I just wanted to talk to you. About what exactly? You know very well. What do you think, Natasha? Why didn't she tell me? Because she loved you. Yeah. If it wasn't for you, she may have never left the place. Perhaps she'd still be there. Ah, sheep shit. We used to dream about falling in love with a nice man who comes and saves us someday. A knight in shining armor. You know, like, like in the fairy tales. And how did that work out for you? She fell in love with a good guy. I didn't. I envy her. I'm not that good guy, Natasha. But if it's any consolation, she could have found him. Maybe she's living with him right now. Somewhere on the other side of the world. Well, goodbye, Sonny. So long, sweetheart. Hey, Natasha, you have a light? I've been trying to smoke this sorry-ass cig all day. It's driving me crazy. Maybe you don't really need it. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Maybe.